going to play our audience, in case they missed it, what your colleague, the Transport Secretary, Louise Hayes, said about DP World that owns P&O ferries this week. They're a rogue operator. Uh, we're cra cracking down on the way that they've treated employees and we want to see them mirror the standards of other operators that come in and out of Great Britain's waters. Uh, they Would will you not... travel with P&O ferries? No, I've been boycotting P&O ferries for two and a half years and I'd encourage consumers to do the same. OK, what part of that do you disagree with? Look, we have always said, and we believe, that what happened with P&O ferries was wrong. I believe even the Conservative government at the time was clear that they believed it was wrong. The problem was it was lawful then. It's not going to be lawful now. And so we have changed the law. We've got part of our employment rights bill is what does this. And, and therefore... they got rid of some staff and then rehired absolutely. them Fire, the fire and rehire yes. in a particularly egregious case. So we were clear about that. I'm not going to re recall from that position. But where companies accept that we're not allowing that to happen anymore and we can work with them on investments into the country, we can have a conversation with them, we will do. So it's not the government's position to boycott them, but we are clear, we do not want this country competing on fire and rehire. We are changing that. This week we've seen mm -hmm. that Employment Rights Bill giving more security for people in some of the lowest paid insecure work in the country, at the same time as having our investment summit, bringing billions to the country. That is pro-business, pro-worker in action, and that is the government's position. Are P&O ferries a rogue operator, as she said? No, that's not the government's position, but... I think we've got to make clear that we do not support fire and rehire, but we believe and we are showing we can improve the labour market, improve people's employment mm -hmm. rights at the same time as attracting the kind of investments which we need as a... So, hang on, you've just said clearly it's not the government's position that P&O and DP World are a rogue operator. There was a government press release that said it was a rogue employer that went out in the name of the government. We can show it there. There's a quote. Comments on an official government press release calling them a rogue employer. So, but that's not the government's position. Look, I'm happy to clarify that. I speak for the government on business issues as the business secretary. We will always make clear what happened was wrong. That's why we're changing the law to make sure it can't happen again. But hang but on, where so companies the transport accept secretary that change, is not speaking for the government. You are speaking for the government. Well, look, I can tell you what the government's position is. And I can also tell you, by the way, that I work with the transport sector on a whole range of issues integral to getting inward investment into the country. She's part of the team that has produced and will, you will see in just mm -hmm. a day's time, the scale of investments that can come to the UK because of the different platform. But this, this, but this is really provides. important.